Good morning. I have stopped at this particular point in my last lecture, so that I can carry it forward in continuity for the entire discussion. I was talking about the assignment of notional value, mind it this is notional value. Notional value is nothing but you know objectivizing the subjective expression of the people. Really when you are looking at a space or any element, you really cannot count what is the value of this. But if I make you experience that particular space in such a situation that you can attempt to give a certain value, basically you are objectivizing your subjective reactions. That is what and by virtue of that, this research has you know emerged into a kind of giving a value which resulted into you know, trying to keep it you know very simple. It could have been maybe the result actually result uh, the arrived at from the uh, statistical um, analysis might have been in fractions, but this has been regularized in terms of 1, 2, 3, so that you can comprehend better. This 3 does not mean 100 percent 3, this 2 does not mean 100 percent 2, but let our reference value be 1 for base, 2 for vertical and 3 for overhead. But what happens is, when you are thinking about this, each one of them has different kind of, we are talking about the plane, but the quality of the plane, the strength of the plane also will contribute. Let us consider that it has been given a value of 1 for base plane, which is flow, uh, floor and it is solid. That means, now how would you, how would you understand this particular discussion? Anything that is solid in the base level has a value of 1 anything that is solid on the vertical planes has a value of 2 and anything that is solid at the overhead plane it has a value of 3 number 1. Is that clear? Next, if the strength of that particular item is reduced or discounted by perforating it more, what does it mean by perforating? Perforating means you create punctures within it. So, think about a wall which is solid earns 2 value. If you perforate this by 50 percent, then your value should be discounted by 50 percent. Is that clear? If the perforation is 10 percent, then your value of this should be construed as 0.9. That means, 10 percent perforation means lost, discounted by 10 percent. So, your value is 0.9. So, it is basically your this value should be ranging from 0 to 9. 0 means absent. Okay. An example that, that we have given over here, let us say with respect to material that if it is a base plane which is a floor which has a value of 1 which is solid and if it is having a, it is a metal grating on which you are standing and which has 10 percent perforation then it should it has earned value of 0.9 because it has been discounted by 10 percent of that perforation. Okay. And if it is vegetation grass then we consider see grass is solid almost solid, but the thing is since it is landscape in such cases the grass we try to take it almost 50 percent of that. I do not even have any objection if you take to uh, say 0.6 or 0.7, but just to you know compare between these three this is fully solid, this is semi solid and this is more landscape more natural. So, earn a value of 0.5. Let us look at the vertical plane wall solid wall 2. RCC jali with 20 percent perforation is 0 0.8 and the trellis or creepers 0 0.5. That means, so much of perforation, almost 50 percent is perforated. Then overhead plane, ceiling, solid ceiling is 3 in a room, pargola is 50 percent perforation 0 0.5 and the pargola with creepers is 0 0.6. Why? Because 50 percent of perforation is 0 0.5 and here the creeper got added and it has added to the solidity of this. So, it has been added by 0.1. So, that is why it is 0.6. So, how you do it is when you try to compute that a full room should be 1 plus 2 plus 2 plus 2 and 3 10. Same room replaced with the walls replaced by vegetative elements or perforations are now being discounted then you add it up. Ultimately, it becomes a value which is less than 10. So, a fully solid room may offer an explicit value of 10 in your mind and perforated ones or vegetated ones will now offer a value less than 10. 
this is the basic idea. But have you noticed one thing that here I am saying there is a space, the space has how many edges, uh, uh, surfaces? It has 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and 7 and 8. So, 4 plus sorry 6, 4 plus 2, 6. Okay. That makes 10. Now, when I am counting, I am counting with respect to the spaces. Have you noticed that I did not count for a room like this 1 plus 2, 3 plus 2, 5 plus 2, 7 plus 3, 10. Have you noticed I did not count the back one? Why did not we count the back one? It could have made then 12, is not it? But we do not count the back one basically because the explicitness of the space or your sense of conception of the space, it all is guided by your visual exposure. I am telling you suppose your, you have a wall behind you, I can do a test for you like this. Imagine that there is a wall behind you without making a single noise and without letting you know the wall is being shifted backward, backward, backward and further, far away and removed, you will not be able to notice. Since you are not noticing because you are not seeing since you are not seeing, you are not noticing, you are not registering. So, you are not sensing, since you are not sensing, you are not perceiving and if you are not perceiving, it is concept wise it is non-existent and if it is non-existent, it should earn 0. That is how it is. Is that clear? Okay. So, the thing is now, whenever you are trying to make spaces, you are trying to be very, very explicit on this area. This let me show you through my next illustrations. But essentially what I am saying is, if there is a space, and let me draw an example. I have written here transparency. What is that transparency about? A surface, whether it is base over it of vertical, earns full value notionally as base 1, vertical 2 and over it 3. What happens if I bring in more transparency? You recollect we play with you know all our graphic uh, drawings in which we make a picture transparent and that when you keep on making transparent and when it goes to 100 percent the picture vanishes in digital uh, you know softwares you will see this picture vanishes because the transparency level is 100 percent. If the transparency level is 100 percent that means it has been discounted by 100 percent. So, your value of 1 or value of 2 or value of 3 is discounted by that 100 percent of each one of the value and then it becomes 0 0 0. What is that situation? Can you imagine? Let me tell you how you would imagine. Have you imagined in a glass box, you being in the glass box, where everything is transparent to that level that you do not even see the joints. You stand on that in the center of the room or at the edge of one of the room or one of the walls and then you look at it, your base plane is transparent, is 0. The verticals are transparent fully 0, the front is transparent 0, over it is also transparent 0. So, a feeling of being absolutely in the open uh, or inside the glass box is almost same. So, the point is this is where lies our catch of how to use the materials. We bring in more transparency to the whole thing. So, if it is let us say an example I have tried to give that in base plane what kind of transparency we have. In the base plane suppose we have a pavement it should earn 1, but if I make it grass grit that means half semi solid and semi grass then naturally it is being slightly transparent in terms of its material strength. Stone paving over the grass few stone paved. So, what happens is over the grass has a value and over which you just add few stones and then add that particular solidity value and then you will find that it is changing. Okay. Stepping stones over water you must have seen that over a water you have stepping stones they you jump from one to another to another the whole water is almost gaining the value of very low value of explicitness and then over that the stone is adding some plus value. So, basically if I see with respect to the overall total then probably the water water proportion is now transparency level that we are getting. So, this is very very important. In vertical plane trail is with creepers perforated fencing and in overhead plane it is pergola with creepers 
pergola with glass sheets. You must have seen these canopies in the airports and all that you have. You feel that it is so lighted, but you are protected from the water, rain water. You are protected. Visually, you are linked absolutely to the sky, to the clouds, because it is a transparent glass above. These are the things which you have to play with. Very interesting game is that how best you understand the effects of this, which material do you select and how you place them there. Okay, next. I am just showing you a few illustrations here, then I will come to one chart. First, this is a situation. Now, let me clarify why it is circular picture frame. Most often, you have seen your picture frames are rectilinear like this, is not it? Most often and in this you have the hills and, and then the water and then the sun, everything you know the sun here. This is rectilinear, but in reality you do not see anything rectangular, because your eyeball, your eye apertures, your retinal surface all these are circular. It is because of which what you see is actual circular. If you recall, in earlier days, people used to have a circular glass spectacles, circular. I will tell you, it was true to the actual requirement, because your every element that is entering into your eye through the aperture, they are coming absolutely in the radial directions, and then you have a round glass. So, you have the best visibility of every element without having a feeling of your glasses, because you have a round glass. So, do not consider that the earlier days round glass was a backdated or poor fashion thing. It was highly technical glass. If you take that phenomena, that means what you see actually the image that is created is round. That is why this has been taken as a round form in this picture. Okay. If it is round form and then you are standing at a point, always you will find technically if you have drawn ever a perspective, you will always see or see things in perspective the horizon line always lies at the eye level, never below unless you are looking from the top, never above unless you are looking from the base. Okay. If you are standing straight and trying to look at it, your horizon lies always at the eye level. It is because of which when we make perspectives and trying to see different people at different distances, you know, you will see I am just trying to give an idea to you. I am sure you are aware of it, but still just to consolidate your if somebody is at a distances, all the eye levels are at the horizon line. This is fundamentally true, geometrically true. When you make a perspective, it is like this. So, that is why the here at this particular point, the uh, this particular horizon line is at the center. Now, if it is at the center, what we have below is the grass and what we have above is the cloud sky. This is what you see without much things and here the base plane is almost, if you negate the effect of the glass and the cloud, then it is 0, 0, everything is 0. Now, look at this, I am generating spaces. In this generation of spaces, it is, if an element that you add over here, then this earns, this particular pictorial thing or its explicitness earns a value of 1. If I add a vertical element next to it, then it adds to the explicitness of this, which makes it now 3. 1 plus 2 3. If you say this, then it is 1 plus 2 plus 2. So, it is 5. Basically, what is this? Always try to see this with respect to your own self being in a in the edge of a corridor. If you see on the side of a corridor, you have the wall here and you have the openness here. Your sense of explicitness of the space or space special quantum creation in your mind is going to be 3. As soon as you put one wall here, it becomes 5. One more thing. What happens if suppose this particular wall is what happens? What happens if this particular wall is lower to half? That means you have a parapet wall. Then naturally this particular two value will be reduced to one because it is 50 percent height. What happens if this particular parapet wall is reduced down to say 0.3 meter? Then if this is about 3 meter, then it's, it should be added only to 30.3 meter that proportion to that particular value of 2. So, basically what you do is let us take there is a parapet which is at the half height, then it should be valued as 1. Then what should be the total value? 2 plus 1 3 and 1 4. 
this is how you should be able to calculate. This is what it is. Now, imagine some more pictures I will bring in. What is the value of this? 1 plus 2 plus 2 plus 3, that means 3 plus 2, 5 to plus 2, 7, and then 1, 8. Why it is not 10? Because I still have the other portion open. So, what happens to this? Sides open, that means this these are 0, okay. this is 1, and this, is, this was supposed to be 3 at this particular point, supposed to be 3, but it is perforated by 50 percent. So, it is 1.5. So, what is the total value of explicitly that this is 1 plus 1.5 is 2.5. Is that clear? I hope this if you have heard me correctly, then you will understand how to compute this value. Uh, questions generally I encounter is do we really do so much of mathematics? No, we do not. We do not have to, but do you feel claustrophobic inside a room? If suppose you are inside a room and I keep on making the room smaller, smaller and smaller, do you at one point of time think that you will feel claustrophobic? When will you think claustrophobic? When your mind will start saying that I have the distance between the wall and myself and the distance from this wall and myself is not adequate. What is that adequacy? Have you ever measured? No. You cannot say 1 meter, 2 meter, 3 meter, 10 meter. No, you cannot say mind starts working and psychologically you are given a signal that anything below this is now not uncomfortable. If I bring the walls farther, farther and farther and bring it just next to your body, you will feel suffocated, you will feel almost dead. Okay? That means, this has a dimension by which I am shifting, we do not count. Here basically it is just an attempt to give a little objective value to correlate between all these things. Okay? This you keep in mind and do not be very fussy about 1 meter or 2 meter, but try to see if you can experiment it and with other examples and whenever you are planning you try to assimilate this. Look at these two pictures I am just bringing together. What is the difference between these two pictures? In this picture we have solid, solid space and then the hedges on either side okay? and in this we have paving with a perforations. Okay? That means, these two will have a different value. So, even if it appears to be same or very similar, but there will be a value change. So, when you select the material mind it everything depends on the size of that element, your position and the selection of materials. So, if now look at this one, this picture, if suppose this floor is now instead of making this, I continue with the grass and this one instead of making a wall I continue with the creepers and this one I continue with the creepers and this one I continue with the pergola. Will it earn the same value altogether? No, it will not, it will change. Will it be higher or lower? It will be lower okay? because we are discounting with the materials by which the perforations are being created. What happens then if suppose this is also filled with another wall? 10, value earned is 10 this is if suppose the value earned is 10, then it becomes a completely an enclosed space very explicit. And what is our objective in the landscape is reduce that 10 to as least as possible, that is the basic idea. Okay? Now, I am just showing you one again a borrowed one from the same research. Here I would draw your attention, you can always see a scale has been given if it is grass and the sky, the ground and the sky earning a value of 0, because the base plane has no value. We should not argue that okay, the, even the grass also has a value in just for making it a little more you know easy to comprehend the whole thing, we are giving 0 to grass. Okay. As soon as you put a pavement or a carpet, you start earning a value. Okay. Then this is 0, 0, so, at this point it is a 1. See basically what is this 10? Why I said 1, 2, 3? The idea is just to give you a feeling of like say 1 value, 2 value, 3 value, but basically it is nothing but 10 percent, 20 percent, 10, 20, 30 and that is why here it is written in terms of 0, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80 and 90. Okay? Now, you look at this, do not look at the top chart now, this one, I will bring you down to that. In this, basically what happens is it is 0. If you put one base element here, you earn value of 10 or say 1. 
either it will become total value of 10 or total value of 100. In this particular pictorial it is total value of 100. So, 10 if nothing is here only a vertical one it is 20, if nothing is here and only a overhead one is 30. What happens here is the 20 is also added gained when the opposite in the, at the opposite you have another vertical plane because it earns 20. What happens here instead of giving an overhead plane if you give one base plane here and one vertical plane here it is 30. What happens here same 2 20 plus 10 30. What happens at this point one overhead plane one base plane and there is nothing on the sides. So, it is 40 what is here 2 plus 2 or rather 20 plus 20 40 it is 20 plus 20 40. So, the thing is in this scale there are so many combinations that is possible ultimately will lead to a full solid like this. Okay. Then let us see 50 it is 30 plus 20 50 20 plus 20 plus 10 50 20 plus 10 plus 20 50 and then 30 plus 20 50. Okay. This is 30 plus 20 plus 10 30 plus 10 plus see this is 3 plus 1 it is 40 and it is why it is 60 because it is half of the vertical half of the vertical that is what I explain. If it is half of the vertical then is 1 and then is 1 rather 10 or 10. So, 30 plus 10 40 plus 10 50 and plus 10 60. So, what you know it is by virtue of this we play this in our uh, building designs. You must have seen many people in their balcony they do not like to give a solid parapet wall. They like to go a grill or say over say railings and nowadays people are even averse to that they do not want that they want a total glass why because they want to have more transparency then in that case that balcony which was a solid parapet had a value and then if you replace this with the grills or say uh, railings has a value and now if you replace this with a glass has a value which one is least the glass one this is how people are experimenting this is basically a fundamental idea that should be at the back of our mind whenever you are selecting materials or the size or the strength of that particular material. Here it is 20 plus 20 plus 10 uh, 20 60. Okay. Similarly, if you look at all these individually you will find ultimately leading to this as 30 plus 20 plus 20 plus 20 which is 90 and here it is all together full is 100. This is what is the explicitness of the space. Now, if suppose as a you look at it as a landscapist if you start with this and start replacing all these solids with elements which are having lesser value or perforations or transparencies then automatically the whole architectural space can be converted to a landscape space. And then if you follow the same materials over here you will find gradually things will become reduced and reduced and reduced and reduced further ultimately leading to 0. Only thing is if you do not give ground or the grass usually a grass no value then probably it works better in terms of computation. Is that clear? I hope that this will make your ideas clear in terms of how explicit is this. In the next lecture I will discuss about you know space you have seen, but how to experience it. So, what lies next is the kinesthetic experience which will be my next deliberations. I would advise you before I go to this particular lecture. So, far whatever I have discussed on the behavioral issues this kinesthetic experience one and the other set will be the design principles I will go quite deep into it. Till now understand the behavior still now means if you run through repeatedly and wherever you get stuck see you have an opportunity to download this view it repeatedly read it repeatedly listen to me repeatedly and I have explained in my last lecture that these cannot be really explained in terms of pure texts. And that is why I have not included text as a part of this lecture essentially the best way of learning is that you listen to me, you listen to me very carefully attentively and with reference to all the illustrations that I am showing and all the illustrations that I am that I am generating 
instantaneously and follow through run it repeatedly more and more you see you will find that automatically your entire concept of the ideas that I am trying to communicate to you or disseminate to you will become your almost you know at the back of my, your mind you will be always storing it. So, now summarizing it before I go to the next kinesthetic experiences is this landscapist must be highly knowledgeable about behavioral issues or behavioral aspects related to the users, because end of the day the entire landscape is being created for the users. Landscapist may not get a chance to see or use his own landscape ironically, ironically and he may not have any opportunity even to revisit or rectify in case something went wrong during execution. So, the difficulty is you design with a full idea and comprehension of the users and their behavioral patterns. The mental process is you know it is phenomenal, you have nothing to do, you cannot stop it, you cannot change it, it will happen. So, if you are familiar with this mental processes, if you can judge the mental process, if you can judge the expectations and tendencies and behavior of the users, then in that case you will be a better designer for any landscape. I will just let me draw one attention. The neighborhood park, which is a very good example of landscape, in which in the evening the mother is taking the child to the park. The child is let free inside the park. Now, you watch the function or activity of the child and the mother. You will find the child would be moving around in any parts in any directions vertically, horizontally and you have given a nice path, but he just crosses the path. He does not follow the path. You have given up some small drain, the kid jumps over it. That means, you really cannot comprehend how a child is going to move. Since you cannot comprehend how a child is going to move, you also have to be very cautious in terms of designing them. Certainly, you are not going to make a very deep drain that in case a child attempts because without any control, without any guidance uh, trying to attempt and then ultimately falls in that there will be no fatal accidents. Okay. The pathway should be such that it should be comfortable to walk, the direction should be such that the people would be attracted to that. Now, if you follow the mother or the same child, child is playing everywhere, the mother is sitting somewhere with fellow mothers and then they are chatting. They are not bothered about how the pathway goes to where are the different interesting things, they only require a bench. They want the bench to be on right angles, so that they can face each other. They want the bench to be opposite each other, so that they can face each other and spend that one hour or one half hours time inside the park. So, the objective or the purpose of different users for the same landscape spots are different. So, if they are different, then naturally there cannot be one solution which is Serv serving everybody. So, when you plan for it always be very very careful and you know attentive to the behavioral patterns of the user, analyze them much before you start putting your pencil on the paper. Spend more time on that analysis automatically your ideas will flow how to give them the best possible solutions. And then the spaces that I have said please go through it and then next day I will discuss about the material connected with the circulations. Okay? Enjoy it. Thank you very much.